In this video, I'm going to show you how to track bugs inside of Tableau. Um, the content used to be on a specific page, but it's moved in recent times to another page. So I'm going to show you how to use that Salesforce page. As ever, let's get stuck in. So I'm here on the Tableau desktop page. I've come to download a release of Tableau. They actually updated it yesterday. So I've come in to download. Now this is not a new release. This is a patch fix. So if you're not familiar with this, Tableau typically release patches to the existing release every single month, but they additionally patch older versions as well. So if you've got 24.2, as you can see here, it yes, they received the dot seven patch. And if you go down to 2024.1, it got its last uh, patch in 24th of July. So there's also limited support for some of these releases. Typically when this happens, there's typically an issue with that release that means they stop support at a specific point in time. But 23.3 is still getting patches here. You can see it's it's getting the support. So um, you always want to check this list and make sure that you're using at least the latest patch. Um, uh, I wouldn't necessarily upgrade too early. That's a separate discussion, but um, make sure you're using the latest one. Now, typically when you used to click on these, you used to be able to have all the information on one page. But for whatever reason at Salesforce, they thought it was a good idea to move it to another page. Um, I kind of think like it's it's, it's it's a little bit of a frustrating experience if I'm brutally honest. You come to one place to download it, you go to someone uh, some other page to check what's been added to that release. I think in most good software download systems, if there's a release and you download it on one page, you also find the information about the release on the same page. But nevertheless, at least it's right here. They've made it easy. Um, now, when you click on this link, it sends you to another page. So this is the Salesforce known issues page and they send it to you here pre-filtered. So I think this is kind of lazy because I came from Tableau desktop um, it could have come pre-filtered to Tableau desktop because you can uh, go and select Tableau desktop from this drop down. So let's go ahead to Tableau and let's go ahead and pick desktop. So you can see here it's dropped the Tableau desktop uh, label in there. Now this filter is additive. So you can see it's got Tableau and Tableau desktop. So if I actually get rid of the Tableau label, it'll just have Tableau, Tableau desktop in there. So all of this list will be just Tableau desktop. So that's how to get it working properly. Now, if you want to track what's just been fixed in the release you're about to download or have, then what you need to do is you need to go to status and look for the item that says solution deployed. This means it's actually been shipped. And then what you can do is you can go and specifically state a release. Now, this doesn't seem to have anything after summer 16. I don't know if that means 2016. Um, maybe they've never done releases since then. Um, but then you can sort the list uh, by updated date. So if you go ahead and, and do this, then you'll find the most recent update at the top. So now we're just looking at Tableau desktop updates in order of their most recent release. So you can see this is a, a clean list. So these are all the issues that have been fixed. And um, it doesn't have the specified, uh, it does have the specified release actually. You can see here found in release 24.2, found in release 21.3.2. Um, but I think some of these fixes go further up. So you'll see uh, here, for example, unable to use font picker for dashboard toggle buttons in Tableau desktop. Um, this is an update to 24.3 specifically and upwards. So they're kind of stating where the floor is and then they the, the updates tend to support everything, everything since that. So that is how to track a bug here. Um, you can do this for any product. Um, you can also additionally track things that are in review. So maybe you've got an issue in Tableau. Do you just like to check, well, are Tableau aware? You can go to this list and if you find your issue there, then someone's aware. Um, when you click on either, each of these issues, you do get a bit more detail. You do get a little bit more context. And uh, so you can additionally go here and hit report and report will basically say, yes, I'm having this issue. You have to log in and do everything you need to. But I think that also gives you a little bit of alerting once the issue has been fixed. It potentially allows you to sort of track that as a ticket. Um, and you get a bit of metadata as well here on the top um, about that. So um, when you, when when there is a response um, or some sort of update to this, you could also typically expect a workaround. So if we go back to one that has been fixed, let's untick that and then go to, let's just go to this one, solution deployed. Uh, you'll see that there is a workaround and you have steps to reproduce that specific issue. So very nice and easy thing to do. Um, I've been in situations uh, many, many times where a bug is what's causing the issue. So what I typically do is if I know how to do something and for whatever, for whatever reason it's not working, I then come here and check. And if I don't find it here, then I carry on troubleshooting to see if it could be something else. 
in my data, in my network, or in my general setup of Tableau. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.